Hey, we're back to Undertale, trying to get the true pacifist ending. Mm -hmm. Whose house was this? Oh, this is Naps to Blue's house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I know how, who I should cosplay. Oh, this the is ghost. Undine's house. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's a dummy. What? 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 <laughs> it's a living. It's a living being a dummy? How do you, who pays you? Undine. Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undine? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Oh, he's so sweet. I want to hug hang out? him. Uh, yeah, sure. This is the thing we were missing. Okay, stand behind me. I want to hug Sam so bad. Psst. Make sure to Not give Sam her this. She loves these bones. bones. I keep getting Sans and Papyrus messed up. Hey, Undine. <laughs> I forgot my voice for her. Hi, Papyrus. Oh, it was like, um... Your voice for what's her face? For risky boots? Yeah. A ready bit like that. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've Yes we have. <laughs> this is awkward. Eh? Eh? Why don't you two come in? Okay. Oh, I like her house. She's got a sword and a okay, piano. So she's a classy lady. Here, Undine! My friend brought a gift for you. On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh. She doesn't really love them. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! Oh my god. <laughs> Genocide run so hard. Oh my god. You know that, right? Oh yeah. Oh my god, I love Papyrus. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? I mean, if you want to call it that, I ran away from you and then gave you some water. <laughs> to humiliate me even further? No. You looked thirsty. Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? I almost fell for that. If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! I didn't mean now to. Get out of my house! It's not my fault I tripped into a cave! Dang, what a shame! I thought Auntie could be friends with you, but I guess. I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh. oh. Papyrus is smart. Oh, he is. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be Besties, I'm excited by this prospect. Because I don't care. I don't character. care what her personal feelings are towards me. I think she's awesome. I'll make you like me so much, but you won't be able to think of anyone else. That might be a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? All the characters around here are so innocent. I love it. Uh, sit down and progress. No, let's look around first. What's this, this giant ass sword? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Really? No. Right? No. Yes, of course. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. Hmm. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Oh, she, she has a good relationship with Alphys. Alphys has a crush on her, you know. One time, Alphys' uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the... Metatron! Oh, Metatron. And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. <laughs> you want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. 
Oh, oh, oh. See, I told you. Whoa. I told you. Well, Mystique is a teacup in the shape of a fish. I saw the fan art and it spoiled the relationship for me, so. This oven is some top of the line MDT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with magic, with fire magic. <laughs> beats food home cooked with fire magic. Okay. I want to cook with fire magic. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, <gasps> axes, spears, nunchucks. Those I are need that for food. I hate cold food. So Elf has fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. So it's like a microwave fridge? It's a micro fridge? Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Fridge wave. All right. Well, I guess I'll take a seat then. Yes. Comfortable? Yeah. I'll get you something to drink. I mean, I got you water before. That doesn't look like... Okay, maybe it is water. Oh, is that mustard on the oven? All set. What would you like? She just set out. Uh, 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 hey! Don't get up! You are the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Okay. You just broke um, your table. Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's clever. Okay, sugar. Uh, soda, hot chocolate, or tea? Mmm, tea. I like tea. Uh, I'll go with tea. Mm. Tea, huh? Coming right up! <laughs> Just point with the spear. <laughs> Holy crap, lady! <laughs> she might be a little unstable. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Are we really so, waiting for water to boil? Do I have to actually lay like an actual real life minute? Okay, no. Okay, it's all done. It doesn't take him. It takes more than a minute to heat up water to boil. Here we are. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. Um, your table's broken. Are you gonna fix that? It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Oh my god. Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. I gotta say, the worst thing about tea is waiting for it to cool down. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, That's Asgore's uh, favorite kind. Ah, uh, Flowey. We're drinking Flowey. <laughs> Actually, now flowey, that I think no. about it. <laughs> you have ingested Flowey. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of remind me of him. Uh, You're both total weenies. Sort of. Actually, golden flowers he is like chamomile. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Okay, we are getting backstory. Okay. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Oh. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Does she know that Asgore's dead? Well, not anymore. We're before that save point. Okay, so she's just reminiscing. Yeah. I'm just like, are we going to have to tell her that no, he's that, dead that right hasn't now? No, that hasn't happened. That hasn't happened anymore because we went back to a save point before that. Okay. Excuse me, do you know what... Want, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. Wow, she has a cool story, too. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can never let Papias into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. Aww. I can see that. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. <laughs> I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little everyone. smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? 
So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. I'm actually really enjoying this hangout. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Okay. Oh shit, it's cooking, mama. Okay, whoa. And it's playing her battle theme. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Screw the soda. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends. <laughs> uh, uh, that is my hair. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong! You punch the vegetables as full force. You knock over a tomato. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Is this how I should teach you how to cook, love? Now it's my turn! Yes, please. Would you be more enjoying? Yeah! Oh my god. What the fuck? Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. You should totally cook like this. But for now... We have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! <laughs> They're the cheapest! <laughs> yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. Oh, you put them in. Fiercely! You oh! so... If you ever learn how to cook, you should teach your kids how to cook like this. Thanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! <laughs> Alright! Now it's time to stir the pasta! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Oh my god. Ready? Let's do it! Ah, I'm really good at pressing buttons fast! Harder! Harder! Yes! Let me do it! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Someone needs Turn to up the this. heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Uh, hold right to turn up the heat. Okay, we're turning it up. Burn it! Turn it up! Hotter! Oh no, oh god, oh god! Hotter! Fires of passion! Fires of passion! Wait, that's too... Um... Uh-oh, did, did I blow up her house? Oh, shit! Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? Are you kidding me? I had so much for it? fun? This was awesome! I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. We should put out the fire. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Um, fire. Oh. I've been defeated! My house is in shambles! I even failed to befriend you! That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Yeah. Uh... No, don't attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at him with all your might. What? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid Sacherine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Aww. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, 
He probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. A mean human? Okay. That makes sense, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. Which is what happened in my ending, because I never befriended her. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what she said she was going to do. That's what friends are for, yeah. right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> <laughs> the poor house! Oh God. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just get Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait! This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got the Undine's letter. Oh, is that the one you're supposed to give the scientist lady? Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it! Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, yeah, it's a letter to Dr. Alphys. So now I gotta go befriend Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you! So, next time under a tale, I guess we're going to go back to the Hotlands to meet with Dr. Alphys and hang out with Dr. Alphys. Mm -hmm. See you then.